hello guys today we're gonna do a video on a token from the gainers and losers section so we're gonna click on see all and we're gonna go to 2030 floki so 2020 um 2030 floki it in the last 24 hours it went up by 191 percent so we're gonna click on that and guys please remember if you haven't already like share or subscribe please do so now if you're new to the channel and you should always remember do your own research and come to a conclusion of whether or not you should purchase these tokens that i review all right so it's currently at a good price <clears throat> and it's um has a daily volume of 151,908 dollars and a max supply of one one quadrillion that's one thousand trillion so we're going to click on the link section and we're going to load your website. It says 2030floki.com. For some reason it's not clicking. So let's just go to one of my browsers. We're not going to use. Now let's go back. We're going to open a new tab. And it's 2030floki.com. Let that load. Now it says 2030floki. Enter the 2030floki technology world. Hold dividend doge. Now it says buy now. Welcome to 2030floki. All right, rebase. All right, project supply is variable and will automatically adjust due to increased buying pressure. Will make tokens easier to trade. So it looks like it's a rebase token. All right, so it says 2030 Floki is not only a token. It will be a cooperative game with 2077. Get ready to enter the world full of technology and earn more wealth. So it says automatic dividend in Doge. AI recognizes the number of holdings. The more you hold 2030 Floki, the higher the weight, the more Doge dividends will be obtained. Right, let's see if we can find your tokenomics. All right, here shows your tokenomics. Liquidity, I guess, is 3%. Marketing, 3 Dividends, 3 And Dev Wallets, 2 so that's 11 percent handling fee so it says 2030 Floki is determined by the in-game transaction economy and the estimated demand for tokens in major sales and will be deducted from each transaction so 11 percent handling fee and let's see what else so i guess they're on pancake swap you can use metamask trust wallet all right currently they're in phase one. They've completed the BSC launch, the design graphics, their pre sale. And I guess they're probably on Pancake Swap right now, but they have Cancake Swap listing. You should change that to Pancake Swap. When will your pre sale start? It says you can enjoy the lifelike world of futuristic technology, buy and earn different aspects of Floki and practice Floki according to your wishes. Completely build your own. All right, this is not ask, um, answering questions. It asks when will your pre-sale start and it did not answer that. All right, what are the benefits? 2030 Floki is a token built on the Binance Smart Chain. With it, you will be stronger than others in future games and get more benefits. I'm not sure I like how who server um, wrote everything on this website. I don't think their, their English is 100%. I'm going to say that. Because they're asking questions but not answering it. Now let's just go go back to... On market cap we're gonna copy their address right now then we're gonna go see how many followers they have on twitter so twitter let's see how many followers they have so they have eight thousand so they have a good amount of followers up here 
All right, so let's say we are looking excellent after launch. Coin market cap in tours and coin gecko incoming major articles, etc., with a decrease in sell tax. 1% reduction every day until set tax is 11. So sell tax is currently at 22%. All right, let's just start jumping into the different tool tests. So we're going to go to poolcoin.app. We're going to paste. Click on 2030 flow key. Didn't load. Let's see pool coin charts. Paste 2030 flow key. Paste again 2030 flow key. I'm not sure why it's not loading. Now let's jump over to uh, wrong thing. Let's jump over to Chrome. Let's load PooCoin in here. Let's load it. Click. And there, I'm not sure what's wrong with that browser, but here it shows that 2030 Floki has a market cap of 399,000, so it's really early. And it has two different um, liquidity pool holdings. So one for 193,000 and one for 56,000. So let's click on the liquidity pool holders. The one with 193, we're going to click on holders. We will see the top holders in this liquidity. So in their pink sale, the pink lock, 100% locked. So that's really good. Then let's see the 56,000 holders. Top holder has 98%. And then an unlocked wallet has 1.15%. And then the third wallet have 0.25%. So that's not bad either. Now let's see the top holders in the wallet. Click on holders. So the top holder will be that number four wallet, the OXD4. That's a wallet that has the one, I think it was 1% of the total liquidity in the $56,000 wallet. Um, lock. All right, so pink lock. Wait, I click on holders. Um, guys, I'm not understanding this because this is saying one, the first wallet has 118%. It's saying the second one has 94%, then five, then four. So I'm not sure how, how this is possible. Even if we get the pink lock one out, and we start with a 94, all the other addresses would add up way more than 100%. This should all total 100%. This is over 200% already. I'm not sure how this, um, I'm not sure how they calculate this. Probably it's because it's a rebase token. And here we see that the number four wallet, the OXD, OX74, they're holding 4.6%, but I'm not even sure how much that is because I'm not seeing a total of 100% here. All right, let's go load a couple of other tools. Let's load our one of our favorite tools, Dex.Guru. We're gonna paste the address in here. So paste, 2030 flow key. All right, so it's doing good at this moment, but we're gonna click on liquidity. So here it shows that there's $321,000 in liquidity and it's six hours ago. You can see five rows, one, two, three, four, five, six rows down. Somebody removed $28,000 from the liquidity, 12 and a half BNB. So let's click on removes if that was the only one removed. So in the last couple of hours, there's been liquidity being removed. It's like every hour there is some re liquidity removed, but the biggest one was from six hours ago for 12 BNB. $28,000 was removed, but we can probably follow that. We click on it and we'll see where it went. All right, so we can see at the bottom here from pancake swap to this address from pancake swap. 
v2 to that um develop i think that's a dev address the oxd49 we keep seeing that address and right here at the bottom we see over six thousand dollars was transferred from from pancakes what v2 to that address but let's go to um let's open another let's open another tab let's open another tab it's bs check dot eu we're gonna paste the address paste check All right, it says this token is risky, but we just want to see. It says sell possible at this report, but couldn't could be blocked by dev at any moment. Contract ownership has not been renounced, so that's the contract owner, the OX219. And here, two dev wallets have zero, so that's good for the liquidity. It shows that there's a liquid um liquidity pool. Um a problem right here there's 87.42 percent in the mudra locker but you see this um dev address the oxd49 with 12.3 percent of the liquidity so that address i would really want to know why that um why that developer or why that dev has 12.35 percent of the liquidity it could be something good and on the other hand it could be something bad because he could remove that liquidity and do whatever he wants or he could use it to help with marketing or do um hire more de developers to push the project further or more faster but it's it always just comes down to the people who are in the developer spot what they decide to do with the liquidity or the amount of tokens they're holding but here it shows that the top holders looks um okay the top holder in the tokens only has 0.95 percent of the token supply all right let's go see if we can find the mudra if we can find the lock in mudra locker we're just going to paste the address here wait for it to look or it was 2030 floki so 2030 so 2030 Floki, F-L-O-K-I, 4,000 addresses. Now let's choose this one with the 4,000 holders. Wait for it to load. And that's the price, the liquidity, 100. This one is saying there's $114,000 in this liquidity, 4,300 um holders but we want to check on the mudra locker so we're going to click on the brown one that says mudra that's the mudra locker the brown one is the mudra locker so let's see if they're in here or they didn't oh here it is below here so here it's saying that 98 percent is locked in the mudra locker but let's scroll down and see if we can find out how much is it worth all right we don't see anything else this is only showing us that there's this liquidity is going to be unlocked in one month and i'm not sure what the value but it says the value is over a hundred thousand but i'm not a hundred percent because one says because there's more than one liquidity locks on this token i think there's either two or three because i see one with three hundred thousand one with fifty six thousand and one with i think two hundred thousand on pool coin Let's jump right back over to pool coin. Paste the address, 2030 Floki. And here you see one with 193,000 and one with 57,000. And guys, remember that some of the, all right, we never ran token sniffer, but people are starting to not trust token sniffer 100%, but I still run token sniffer on all the tokens that I decide to buy or not. All right, here they said that the token the sell fee and the buy fee will all go down so i guess those sell fee right now is 22 percent and i think they said every day moving forward the sell fee would go will go down by 22 percent by one percent i'm sorry 
until it reaches 11%. So here it is. Or was it the buy fee? I'm not sure if it was the buy fee that they said would go down to 11%. All right, ownership not renounced. A wallet contains a substantial amount of tokens which could have a large impact on the token price if sold. And here it says that 98, all right, so see, this is why I love um, token sniff because here it shows you that 98.58% is locked in Mudra Locker, but it unlocks in 29 days. Unlocks in 29 days. So I would want to know what they, what are their plans to do with this token after it's been unlocked. All right, guys, I don't think there's too much more I can too many more tests I can do on this token you guys can do go way way deeper into this token you can follow the, the addresses that um that have removed liquidity I only followed the one that showed the 28,000 but you can follow the other ones to see where those $500 and stuff have been going for the last couple of days also you can go on their telegram and stuff and ask them questions about the tokens to see what are their um what are their plans for the future with the liquidity? But guys, you should always remember to read their white paper because a lot of the information that I show you right now or I'm telling you to go get, the, those um, information are probably already in the white paper. So you should always read the white paper. Always do your own research. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. Like and share the video. And if you have any um, requests for tokens that I should do, Please put it in the comment section and I'll try to do a video on it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.